Here is an example of a bad tie rod end. I am moving the wheel three and nine o'clock position. It's pretty subtle, but you can see that this arm on the steering knuckle moves and the tie rod does not. So what that means is there's play in this ball joint right here, basically. So we're going to replace this little section. We'll show you how to do it. So real quickly, what I did was I jacked the car up using my floor jack right here. Placed the uh, jack stand. A solid looking piece, piece of metal there. And then I turned the wheel all the way to the right to access this. We're gonna have to get a needle nose pliers on this uh, cotter pin, or I'll just manhandle it with my fingers. Beefy comparatively. When in doubt, cut it out. It's another 19 on this tie rod end. Now we sort of want to make sure this nut doesn't move too far because that'll be kind of our marker of where we want it to end up. Washer is loose. So now we should be able to get this tie rod. Geometrically, these lengths are these length lengths match, so we should be able to put this new beefier one on uh, without any adjustments to our toe. washer to our end. That's nice and tight. Cut end, which is nice. We've got a washer and our castle nut. And that just needs to be snugged up and then aligned with the castle nut. Which now appears to be an 18 Like so. New tie rod in.